Welcome to Trading Lounge and the Bitcoin report for the 24th of May and starting with Ethereum here and the reason for that is because from the top in Ethereum here we can count down as one and two and one, two, three, four, five for the third wave, the fourth wave and the fifth wave here. Now that gives us five waves down through here. I will go back and double check that just in case we can get an A wave and a B wave out of it and a C wave here, but it would make the A and the B very small. So I don't really think that's the case, um, but I will double check on that. Now that we have five waves down through here, we have this low in place. Because we have five waves here, we should get a corrective rally and then another five down. And that's Elliot. So just be mindful of that. From wave four here down to wave five here, we can count one and two and three and four and five. So it finishes off really nicely. It's below this sharp um, move down through here. So it finishes off rather nicely and I believe that we've got a low in place and we'll rally back up to the 3000. I'll have a look at the, we'll monitor the, the, the rally um, as it unfolds. But if you're looking to buy, then this is the place to do it on this low here, especially for the hodlers. Um, also what I want to talk about too is just um, matching this up with Bitcoin as well. So this top here is the 11th to 12th of May coming in here. And that was a month before Bitcoin, um, uh, Bitcoin had already rolled over a month earlier, rather. Um, so we've, we've had, let's just go, the, go here. So from this top here, rather with the 10th of May in this case, this was the move down for Ethereum, which is in five waves. So Bitcoin has got all of this and all of this. So this market has got an A and a B and a C wave here. Now, um, how do we how do we look at that? You know, so in terms of you know, I've, I've had it as a wave four there before. I think I'll just go to the daily chart. So we've had it like this here as an A B C for wave four. We can line it up with the wave four of one lesser degree. That would be okay on the log scale. That would look just fine on the log scale. But we don't really go into log scale uh, until we're in primary degree of structure. But this is intermediate degree. Can we do that? Possibly. This is also pulled down to the 50% rather than the 61, uh, rather than the 38.2%. Is 10% a big deal? Mm bit puzzling we could can we also look at this in a more positive light as we have looked at before and looking at this as wave one and two up here I don't really see a problem with that to tell you the truth as one and two and one and two here and one and two and then moving up further in wave three I need to probably lift I'll need to lift them all up a label so this would need to go up here and so on but just pointing out the possibility of that at, at that um you know the other point too i think in history all the previous somebody mentioned it to me that we haven't breached the previous high um when we've come back down in the bear market for each each of them so that twenty thousand uh here we're still above that that sort of plays out okay we can call this an a and a b and a c wave down through here if we um, if we look at it like like this here, just now in this case here, going from wave four here down to wave five, we can count this down as one and two in here, and then three here and four here, and then. Uh, wave five down through here. There's a bit of a problem with that. Wave four here overlaps wave one over here. Is that a big deal? Um, I don't think that it really is actually um, because when we look at Ethereum here, it, it goes one and two and three and four here and doesn't overlap in this case. So I've, I've used this before an ending structure in Ethereum to match up, to get a, to understand Bitcoin's move. Also in this case here, we've got this wave five here below this low here for this. And that doesn't really occur over here for that. So we're still above there. So we could count this, we can count that up as three waves. We could count that down as three waves. 
We could count this here as a triangle pattern even. So uh, we'll, we've talked about this a little bit before. So an A and a B and a C and a D and an E and then we go down for wave C over for, for this last one over here. While that's doing this across here, for example, that might give Ethereum a chance to have its move up to 3000 as wave B and then, and then they'll both come down in wave C. So that's going through my mind at the moment as well. Like how are they going to finish off together and do they need to finish off together? Or is Bitcoin like, um, like, a, he um, you know, like a month ahead in all of this? So there's a few things that we, that not the Ethereum, and we know now that Ethereum and Bitcoin don't have to do the same things. So I'm a bit, I'm still not really, I'm just keeping it very simple today. So I'm, I'm not really sure how this sort of finishes off um, here for this. But if Ethereum is anything to go by, and we've got those five waves coming down here, we're going to be in a rally for quite some time here. So that means that we can be in a rally off this low here for quite some time. So we need to develop it. Um, I've been buying on the way down here. I'll be buying some more uh, here as well. But I'm hodling, so it doesn't make any difference. But in the bigger picture, um, yeah, it is what it is, I guess. So um, I won't go into the tick chart for, for this, but um, based on this here as an... See, I like it as an A wave and a B wave and a C wave down here. The C wave's a little bit sharp, so it's possible to call all of this here the A wave over here and the B wave coming back up to here, the same as Ethereum. So we need to track that as well. I, I find it difficult to call this wave one and wave two here because wave two has spent more time in play than wave one here. So that's very unusual. It's not, not impossible to call this wave one um, and two here, and then I could readjust this for wave three, four, and five in here, or we can have a triangle here and call that down. There's a couple of things that I, we, we could do with all of this, but the, I think the takeaway today is that um, I'm not quite sure about the, the, the large account, but based on Ethereum, uh, this count down here can have its low in place, and we can rally up from that point. We could rally from this top over here to this low. Well, I'll take it to the wave five low here for that. So that could. Bring us back up into the 50,000 area through here. So in that case, it would be a bit silly if we didn't buy down here in that in that regard based on what Ethereum could do. So it depends if what you have, you know, if you're trading or position trading or short term trading or hodling. There's all these different. Everybody's doing different things. So I just try to accommodate um, all of that. But um, I have seen cases before when we can have this truncated fifth wave down here in five waves here. So anyway, uh, let's just go in quickly and have a little look at this on the tick chart. I'll just go to the, I'll go to the hundred tick chart, and um, I need more data. So I want to bring in a fair bit more data here just to have a look at this down here because we'd been talking about it. I just want to, yeah, it's probably be good if I go over this here. So. Um, we've definitely got three waves here. So that means that we would make a new low below here. Now, we didn't make a new low below here, but we do have five waves in terms of the one and two here, and one, two, three, four, five for the third wave here, the fourth wave and the fifth wave. The problem with that is the fourth wave overlaps wave one. So what do I do about that? Um, well, the other count could be that we have this as just the A wave up here, and this becomes the A, B, and C wave down here for the B wave, and then we go up for the C wave, the D wave, and the E wave, and then we go down. And while when we get to this E wave here, that means Ethereum would be at its B wave at that time over here somewhere, and then go down for here, and then we go down from this here being a triangle pattern and then go down. This will become a little bit more obvious as this plays out through here. 
but I'm more inclined to think that this is the five wave structure down here, uh, the same as Ethereum. And once this starts to move up here, then, then the FOMO will start and people will move in and go, oh, the low could be in place and, you know, and off they go at that point. But we do need to be careful in the bigger picture because this does count nicely as five waves. So a three wave and a what's the name? So we'll see. I just wanted to have a look at this here. So we definitely got an impulse move up through here with a corrective move here. This would be wait. This is also a little five waves in here for for one and two in here. This looks like the next wave one and two. So one and two and one and two and one and two here. And then the third wave here, the fourth wave here and the fifth wave. So that's connected to to that. But that doesn't look finished one or that one and two and three and four or five. Mm. Anyway, this part of that structure. But there's still more to go in this. I'm just checking this out. I think that's... I'd like to call that one there, but it just doesn't sort of match up nicely. I like to call all of that wave one and this wave three here. dropping a bit low and also look what I'm also looking for here is that the arrival the reaction the first high above the level then a correction here so maybe that is to that point I need to check on all of that if that's not to there then it will be to one more high over here for that and then come down that point get rid of that but I've still got this as one and two here so we still got these two this one and two and this one and two so that's going to take us up to 38,000. Yeah, this one here would go to 38. So we could be in the triangle. We could be in an impulse wave. I just need to get more information on that. But I, I'd rather call this the low in place here. In line with Ethereum, you know. with this three, four and five here. Even though we haven't made a new low and even though that this could be counted in three ways down here, I think we're better off lining it up based on Ethereum's account for this. Yeah, a bit tricky. And I have, I have I have changed this down through here too as from the B wave here is one and two and one and two here and then three, four, five here for that for the third. It's just a better fit. And then the fourth wave here. We could still have the triangle here and have, have the fifth wave come down a little bit low, lower here for this. So you'll still need to manage your risk and your exposure and so on with all of this. All right, I'll leave it at that. And um, it's early Monday mornings over here in Australia. So I'll, I'll give this a little bit more thought. But uh, the takeaway here is that based on Ethereum, this five wave structure down here is completed. So it should work higher at that point. That's the takeaway. Bitcoin will probably follow that as well. Um, so even though that Bitcoin hasn't finished off nicely like Ethereum has, I think they're still in the same boat, floating in the same ocean at this point, and will be, um, you know, going in and out with the tide, going going up here for this. But we should have another move down based on this one here for this. With uh, with Bitcoin as well, you know, this could all be like wave one going up there and come back for wave two, where Ethereum drops a little bit further and, and Bitcoin doesn't. So there's, there's variations that can occur with all of this, and we just need to to track them. Alrighty, I'll leave it at that. Cheers.